Welcome to the fifth election of American history. It occurred in 1804 from November 2nd up to December 5th. The nation found a new prosperity after the end of the Quasi War. Incumbent President Thomas Jefferson had become extremely popular by 1804. Jefferson's main political issue was his vice president, Aaron Burr, who he had never fully trusted and had become the black sheep of the administration. But before that, one of the very first things Jefferson dealt with was the Barbary War, an undeclared war against North African countries, nations. Caused by pirates' relentless money tributes and raids, this would end in 1805 after the successful invasion of Tripolitania. Also, Jefferson founded West Point, the United States Military Academy, that would play a key role in the development of future soldiers. For example, future generals and or presidents like General Douglas MacArthur and Presidents Ulysses Grant and Dwight Eisenhower and more graduated from here. Back to Jefferson's accomplishments, he also got rid of the whiskey tax and made him popular with many. Most of the naturalization laws were repealed after John Adams left and Jefferson pardoned everyone affected by it. But the biggest accomplishment was the Louisiana Purchase. All of this new land for American farmers and merchants made Thomas Jefferson more and more popular. The bargain occurred because Napoleon needed money ASAP in order to fund the war effort in Europe. Another major event was the Supreme Court case of Marbury vs. Madison. Adams, on his last day, appointed a lot of people to jobs before he left. Marbury was one of them. Once Jefferson was president, he denied him since he believed it was not on time. The SCOTUS and 4th Chief Justice John Marshall ruled for Marbury and also gave themselves the power of judicial review, meaning SCOTUS could now overturn laws that they saw as unconstitutional, making it the most significant case in American history. All of these things made Jefferson extremely popular and the Federalists nominated Charles Coatsworth Pickney, who was Adams' running mate back in 1800, and Pickney's running mate for Vice President was Senator Rufus King. Rufus King, who was a founding father and famous New York and New England politician, while the Democratic Republicans of course nominated Thomas Jefferson again. But for Vice President, instead they nominated George Clinton. Aaron Burr was rebuked from his party and society after the Burr vs. Hamilton duel, in which he killed Alexander Hamilton. Dueling was already out of fashion back then, and when people heard of Burr's sin, many distrusted him and Burr was never able to get back into politics. He would technically have some adventures in the future, but that's for the next video. So, New York Governor George Clinton was nominated for Vice President since he was from a northern flip state of New York, replacing Aaron Burr. Even with this issue with Burr, Thomas Jefferson was extremely popular throughout the nation. While the Federalists were free-falling and they still tried their best in 1804. And the winner was... Thomas Jefferson! Easily won staying as the third president in American history. Jefferson won with a whopping 162 electoral votes in a landslide. And George Clinton became the fourth vice president in American history. While Charles Coatsworth Pickney only got a measly 14 electoral votes. This election was smooth and didn't cause headaches unlike the other two previous elections due to the 12th amendment being used thankfully. In the Senate, the Democratic Republicans easily won in a landslide, winning 25 out of the 34 seats, winning the majority with 18 being the minimum for it, showing how much things had changed. While for the House, Democratic Republicans easily won with a supermajority with 100 seats. Democratic Republican Nathaniel McCone, the first Southern Speaker, was the leader of the House and was the fifth Speaker of the House since 1801. Jefferson took his second oath of office on Monday, March 4th, 1805, within the Washington Capitol in DC. For Jefferson and the Democratic Republicans, this era of growth and prosperity would go on, and thus, the fifth election of American history came to an end. 
thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.